everyone. My name is Rito and I'm the founder of Remember the Name. So Rito is not a very common name over here. How can you remember it? Let's do some theory. It's a very simple three-step memorization technique. You start out with a feature, a very distinctive feature. You see a person, so look at me. Most probably you pick my dark framed glasses. The next step is you turn the name into a mnemonic. So Rito, um, I think of a burrito, and now <laughs> you combine both steps together to make this bizarre, unique picture, which um, really sticks to your um, mind. So now, yeah, guess what? So you cut the burrito into half, because we only are interested in the burrito at the end of the burrito, and you plug it into my glasses, et voila. It's very bizarre, but I promise you will not forget my name. All right, so how um, does our website help you to learn this memorization technique? If you go to the start page, um, you, you kind of get um, a glance of the theory again, so this is Mona Lisa, you just combine both again. But like, let's say, you want to learn more about this, you go to start now, and now there are two ways um, to get started. One is just for yourself, like you can test your name memory, so what you do is you connect Facebook or LinkedIn and you practice with your um, familiar contacts, or maybe not. Um, so let's do um, LinkedIn. So I prepared here um, some good examples. So what it does now, it pulls um, 10 random contacts from LinkedIn and it shows you the picture and says, um, shows one simple question like, what's my name? So this is John, the way I remember him. It's like, I use his hair and yeah, I think of John Wayne. Um, so I say I knew it. So this is um, Remo, it's his name. And well, I think of his glasses and I, I kind of the ram, I, I fill his glasses with rams. So this is the trick I use for him. And so you just walk through it. This is Brad. Um, I take his cap and I put a, a, a bread on top. So he bounces a bread. And this is how you remember him. So hat and bread. And so you can go on and, and use these memory tricks for yourself. You can even add like some something personal, like you met this guy at some party or at some conference. And, and, and so on. We also try to make some smart um, suggestions, so we kind of build up a dictionary um, to help you be creative, to come up with good um, uh, yeah, mnemonics. So um, there is another way. So when you go for this thing, it tells you your score, you can repeat the wrong ones and get better and better. Um, so the, 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 other, um, the other way to use remember the name is more like a, a real case scenario. I call it a memory list. So let's say you have to organize a workshop or a conference or some course and a lot of time you go there and you're not familiar with the people and it's always like um, embarrassing. You meet this person again, it's like, oh yeah, hi, um, how are you? Long time no see. So in order to help you prepare, like the organizer creates um, like a memory list, um, so like SV demo, and then uh, you add yourself as the organizer, and that's pretty much it. So you get like a link you can share um, with the people, like through Twitter. Actually, I just shared before I came up here a link on uh, Twitter, and um, maybe some of you have already signed in just to demo how it um, how it works. So let's see whether someone signed up already. Um, so yeah, someone signed up, Chanda. So now you see how this list fills up. Maybe here an example from the real world. This is like some investor round table in Switzerland. So um, startups and investors get together and they don't know really each other. So people can now sign themselves into this list and they can see like, oh, this guy's there, he works there. And you can go back and play flashcards just on the way there in the train or whatever. You can just flip through them and refresh um, your memory. That's it, thank you very much. Great, thank you. Uh, questions? So how many names can you, can you remember now? <laughs> Um, I started this project because I was really bad at it, 
so I'm getting better and well I don't want to say a number because then you're going to challenge me but um, <laughs> thanks to remember the name I'm now way more aware like Brad Rock, I immediately think like of him taking an old bread and beat it on, on, on the rock. This is how I remember <laughs> his name. <laughs> or like Rachel was up there, so I think of the band Rage Against the Machine, so she's on the stage with, with, with them. And so, because I do this and use this all the time, I'm, I'm so more like um, aware and I concentrate to listen to the name. I'm not saying I'm perfect with this technique. There is like one guy in the team, he's a professional memory trainer, so he's really good at it. I'm just the uh, product guy. Um, but I think I got better and I can remember quite many names now. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Actually, um, this whole thing started out as a mobile web project I quickly show you here you have a, a demo so you can actually use um, the whole app in here as a demo so when you go um, with your smartphone it, it, it shows the mobile version and then I realized a lot of people didn't understand that they can use the app in here so we had to kind of make it also desktop um, of air and use the same code as a sort of responsive and yeah, we are now testing the market and if like we get a lot of traction then we will start building native apps for iPhone so you have an offline mode you can actually maybe use your camera or you can sync with your address book and start practicing with that one and then we want to make these uh, native apps premium and sell them this is our business model what do you do with non-english names <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, um, you can break uh, you can break any name apart. For example, if I tell you my name is um, Kalovsky, right? Um, so you just say, um, okay, you break like cow loves ski. So you see the cow <laughs> skiing, and you can break pretty much everything apart. Um, it takes a lot of um, practice and a lot of creativity. That's how we hope to help you break this or, or learn these um, mnemonics. So are you trying to provide this as a service to the world or are you trying to make money out of this? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, well, first of all, we really want to solve the problem of remembering names. I think it's like eating and sleeping, like 90% of the people I talk say, oh yeah, yeah, give me this app, I need it. And so it's a very common problem and we want to solve that first and I think the rest will follow. So we don't make money at the moment. So but freeware never made money. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe, you know, like the premium apps, the native apps, they will sell because people start to like it, get hooked on it, and then they buy them. Uh, uh, usually the, the uh, big problem with, with uh, remembering names is, is when there isn't a, an, an external uh, data source showing them their name with the you just meet them, meet them in person. Uh -huh. uh, do you have any, any solution for, for getting that, that person in, in, in your app in, like, in, in real time? Um, yeah, so we chose two cases. This is one thing I hear a lot. like. Um, Basically, when you walk up to someone, I want to see that you're going to see the person, right? This real-time thing. Or you meet the person, you can immediately add the person to to your list and to memorize. So we haven't covered that case. We basically want to help you learn the technique, apply it, practice it. And when you really meet these people, you don't need the app anymore. You just like remember all the mnemonics and how to work with it. and. But yeah, of course we try out new things and this is one approach you also want to test like um, do people also like this to actually just add like an address book, new connections um, they make. What's the uh, most difficult name that you have? <laughs> <laughs> Kalofsky. <laughs> Maybe a Chinese name, I don't know whether you're yeah, Chinese, Chinese, but... Um, something. <laughs> one, one more question. What is your premium app? My premium app? Yeah. What is the question? What is what does the premium app have with the basic one? That's um it will have like you can sync it with your um address book. 
so you can actually even train contacts from your address book. You can do offline thing because this is now pure mobile web. So if you don't have like connection, then yeah, it's a bit difficult to, to, to use it. And also you could access the camera to maybe start doing this like um, ad hoc. Have you heard of like um, Evernote Hello? They kind of do, you just take pictures of the people you just meet and uh, you could also do things like that. Cool. Thanks very much.